You guys look like you're having a lot of fun today. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> We've been apart for uh, at least five days. Yeah, oh. it's too much. It's unbearable. It's too long. Yeah. Guys, it is great to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I imagine when you get the call to say you're going to be in this movie, that's a massive deal, right? Yeah. I let it go to voicemail. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> then you can listen back. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so I can keep like... it forever. No, I, it was it was incredible. I mean, it was it was so funny too because I was in New York, and Queen was playing in Brooklyn. Yeah. Literally five miles away, the day that I found out I got the job, and and I remember that morning being like, should I just go to the concert and like hold up a sign that says "Put me in your movie," and then literally that day I got the phone call. It was like such a cool and sort of faded thing. I think. Um, Have you ever told Brian or Roger that? Have you told them? I I don't know. No, I think I did tell. Yeah. I I did tell Brian. He was like he was remembering the show and like oh, right. recounting like the set. It was actually. Oh pretty yeah, funny. I messed up the solo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys must be expert guitar players as well now. Are you constantly showing off to your friends how good you are? My girlfriend's very bored of hearing Queen <laughs> Rhapsody, a bit of hearing Queen songs because I mean I we we we're, we're experts in a very niche field. Yeah, exactly. Okay. In in playing you know the songs that we played in this film. But, yeah. Uh, beyond that. My guitar skills are still not as good as Yeah, and they be. didn't give me a bass from the movie, which I'm still very bitter about. So I think that if I tried to play now, it would be an embarrassment. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, by the end of it, you know, it was actually really cool because we were playing so much for basically like an eight month span. Near the end of the shoot, uh, we did the scene where my character's writing Another One Bites the Dust. And usually we're, we're playing to playback, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't actually hear us yeah. play, even though we are playing the songs. And on that one, um, the music guys were like, Joe, just plug yourself in and turn it on and you're playing. Because it wasn't to a backing track, it was something where I actually had to like play and then stop and say my line and start again. And I remember the director coming over to me being like, you you can play, right? And I'm, me being like, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, I'm great. Um, and being very Sorry, nervous, yeah. but on that day I was really playing and then Gwil was like, well, I wanna play too. So he plugged in and he started playing, Ben on drums, and, and then there was Rami saying, when do you want me to come in with the lyric? And I was like, we'll just go off of your cue. And it was this weird moment where we suddenly realized we are a band. Are we're musicians. talking like a band and we're playing actual music. It was pretty cool. As, we, as we've been doing publicity for this film as well, we were very often doing interviews and they set up like uh, we're in a studio or they'll put some instruments behind us. And so as we've been doing that, we've been playing. Yeah, and, and on our breaks we play. Yeah, it's been oh, nice yeah. to get back and have a little chat. Yeah. You're proper musicians for a while. Yeah, we pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, that Live Aid scene is phenomenal. Like amazing, and one thing's like when I was watching it, obviously you saw Lucy's cat or Mary watching from side of stage, and I was thinking, well, that must have been incredible to be there in that moment. Obviously, you can't go back and do that, but who would you guys like to stand side of stage and watch perform? I would love to have been there, oh, like geez. honestly, to have seen. I know it's a bit of a cop out saying that, but to have seen <laughs> that Live Aid performance would have been quite incredible. Yeah, I would have loved to have been on the roof for the Beatles when they played. Uh, yeah. You guys are choosing people who we we can't do that for. No, I know, yeah. Oh, so what? You can, can you now? get us into a concert? <laughs> yeah, I'll try my okay, best. Okay, great, wow. <laughs> if Led Zeppelin ever got back together, I'd, I'd <laughs> love to go. Yeah, can you sort that out? Can you <laughs> yeah. First of all, so get them back together yep. and then get me a ticket. <laughs> it will surprise please. you how much power I have in okay, this great. industry. Yeah. None <laughs> whatsoever. So good luck with that. <laughs> and your first memory of Queen, I think we've all got one. I remember I used to do drama classes when I was younger and at the end of the lesson we'd put on music and I yeah. remember hearing Bohemian Rhapsody for the first time and we just went insane yeah. and it became that song which we played at the end of every drama class just to let loose. What's your first memory of of hearing Queen track? I've got an older brother and he used to play Queen songs quite a lot, he was quite into them and so I used to listen to his records. Um, but I do remember, I think for, for a lot of people of our age, Wayne's World was a big oh. uh, introduction to um, to Bohemian Rhapsody into Queen's music. And I still find it very difficult not to headbang when I'm listening to that song like you in those drama classes, I imagine. Um, yeah, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody is the first song I ever downloaded on Napster. Um, oh my God, yes. we're going way back. It, yes, exactly. Um, Which is illegal. <laughs> well, not at the time. It was a gray area. I'm, I'm telling um, Brian and Roger. Please, yeah. I beg you not to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's I've not bought, like I've anything's on camera, it's fine, uh, nothing's yeah. and on then, camera. And then I remember doing a, a, a little short student film when I was a freshman in high school where I, in the credits I put Another One Bites the Dust at the end of it. Um, and so that was sort of, Queen kept sort of popping up in my life. And then, uh, yeah, I think my fandom has just kind of skyrocketed as this thing has gone on. Yeah, we started out as fans and we've now become fanatics, I think, it's fair to say. Yeah. Who doesn't, mm. especially with something like this, uh, with a music like this. And obviously, Rami, as Freddie Mercury, 
when you're you're standing opposite him, mm. does it did it feel like because he he seemed so authentic when yeah. I was watching it? So did it feel kind of weird? You've known him a long time, yeah, right? so exactly, it's yeah, surreal. I mean. Yeah, we did a job together uh, a decade ago. We we met eleven years ago on a show called The Pacific, which was an HBO okay. miniseries. And so knowing Rami for so long, when he put the teeth in and the nose and the mustache, I, w I was like taken aback. I was just like, whoa, yes. this is gonna be awesome. Because I knew he was a great actor, and then to see him as Freddie Mercury, it was, uh, it, it, yeah, you got goosebumps. It was very cool. To, I have to say to though, it wasn't, it wasn't just his physical resemblance, though, was it? He brought something of Freddie's like spirit, I think, onto yeah. set. And uh, you know, I always imagined that Freddie was such a kind of irreverent celebrator of life. And I think uh, Rami really brought something of that with him. He, he really set a beautiful tone on set. He's an incredible leading man. Absolutely. Good job, guys. Thank you very much. Really enjoyed Thanks. it. Lovely to meet you. You Lovely too. To meet you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y